everybody feeling fine. There ain't no business like show business, baby. Show time. It is show time. You know, has anyone ever told you you have a stance that's very much like Hugh Laurie? Uh, I get that sometimes. Yeah, I'm, sh I'm sure he gets the. I'm sure he gets the opposite. A lot, you know. You look like you know. So production designer Mark Worthington, right? But yes, yes, I do get the Hugh Laurie thing, which is fine. I, yeah. I love Hugh Laurie. It's I figured I'd start out with a heavy it's always a good question. One. <laughs> um, American Horror Story actually has a, a really rich interior. The, the yeah. building that you work with, were you were you able to actually create the set from scratch? Is it yeah. on a, a studio? I mean, lot? it's based on a on a location, but we built, I'd say, probably 80 percent of the sets, maybe even more, on on stage. Almost everything was built. It's some location work, but very little. The exterior obviously was shot at a at a pretty wonderful house down in Country Club Estates. Uh, and, uh, but all the interiors we did on stage, yeah. Do you work a lot with the cinematographer to kind of uh, heighten or modify the lighting and, and the colors of the room? I mean, in general terms, it's not like I'm standing there saying set this light here, but we had many conversations about tone and keeping things dark. Keeping, I mean, chiaroscuro is a word that I used in the beginning, you know, characters in, you know, from dark walking into light in the opposite, and then strong dark and light and shadow, you know, overall with the lighting, I think was something we tried to achieve, which isn't always common in television, obviously, it's a little more feature sensibility, but I think it wasn't easy, but we got there, so it takes a lot longer to shoot in that style, but obviously the, I think the work, you know, speaks for itself. Yeah. Kind of helps build that tension. Oh, yeah, too, yeah, yeah, it's really essential. Yeah. Have you worked on horror movies or any yeah. sort of horror genre? My first movie ever that I worked on was a horror film by George Romero, and the king of Italian horror, Dario Argento, was a two-part movie, and you know, one director, you know, each director had one part of the two-part movie. So this is back in the late '80s. Uh, so yeah, I started with horror, interestingly. So it's sort of oddly like coming home. I mean, this is a very different storyline and very different tone than that. But it's uh, it's a fun genre. I really enjoy it. What was it like to work throughout the course of the years and and continue to develop the the uh, design of the school? And, and the habitat that Harry, Harry lives in. What was it like for you? Well, I think that's what sustained us, really, was the fact that it was continuously changing. New scripts, <coughs> new book, new script, right. would bring new challenges and just new physical re requirements. You know, when in movie six, when Dumbledore dies, the astronomy tower had never existed before, the tower from which he fell to his death. Uh, and so, you know, there was a new challenge, a new set. Um, and that's what kept it fresh and kept us fresh, I think. And also the demands of different directors. Um, we had, what, four different directors throughout the series. Right. And they each had different requirements and different priorities. So that also enabled us to uh, stay, on, you know, stay on the ball, stay fresh, stay top of it. That's actually an interesting point where you were, I guess because the set was already in place, the, the basis of yeah. the art direction was already up there. Yes. Um, but was it challenging to constantly rearrange your, your work ethic in regards to the directors coming in or, yes. or was it a rather smooth transition? No, it was. it's challenging but it's a good challenge and, and uh, not just the directors changed but the, the, the DOPs, the cameraman changed and so he had different requirements, had a different style, different so well, I think we were constantly challenged there to, to rethink it. I mean not terribly not everybody who can I did I did say to every director as they came you don't have to have me you may think you do but you don't you know somebody else could pick this up and, and run with it but um, as it happened they didn't and uh, as I say we were challenged but not uh, not to the point of uh, you know despair at all it was always a positive move forward sure well I, I'm getting the signal for you to move on but can you okay. just say how does it feel now that 
that series is over and you have the ability to freely move on to something new. I was, I, I was, I was. It was an emotional time. It was, it was sad. The sad day, the, the last day. I was glad to have rounded it up to to be able to say I did all of it. Yeah. Did the whole series. You know that was pleasing. Um, and uh, also I moved on and did a small film, the complete antithesis of these films. Nice. A tiny little film called Gambit and uh, made in London. And, you know, it was a great, great way to just move off onto something else, really.